Hi, I'm Kasturi. I'm in Mumbai. I am in south of France, which is Montpellier. Today, we're gonna see what a thousand rupee can get you, what you can do, which equals to 11 euros over here. And we are going to spend our day in thousand rupees. It will be tough, but uh, definitely I think I can make it. And uh, let's see how it goes and what all I can do in 11 euros. Let's go. I've already done my breakfast at home because usually we do have breakfast at home and then head out. So that's what I've done because it's the thing. So basically I'm late as usual because um, yeah, I haven't had breakfast, but it will be on the go. The luxury of staying in France is you can have croissant on the go. Take you through the metro. I'm excited to go on a solo day today. Andheri uh, station return. It's a beautiful sunny day today. I'm so happy about it. Right now, I'm heading to a gallery. That's one of my favorite building. It's just um, on my street. Yes, so we'll be going walking for sure because the city is really small. That's something that I really like about and you can walk all over. So we are going to walk and go to the museum. It's a new exhibition that is started and it's very renowned. It's very popular over here. So we're going to go there first. I'm going to meet a friend who will uh, come along with me. And uh, after that, let's see how it goes. Connects you to the Western Railway. Got the ticket. That's what I want. Let's go. Oh, the train is already here. I'm gonna miss it. And I'm going to go to the boulangerie to pick up maybe a pound of chocolate or a baguette. But the thing about, I want to mention about a boulangerie over here, the problem here is when you just enter, you they are just so fast and they expect you to just give the order uh, as if you know everything that is placed over there. Uh, it looks so beautiful but um, unfortunately if you go on a rush hour then you are expected to speak very fast and then order very fast. So my recommendation is if you are in France then you can go to an hour which is not very crowded, not a busy hour. So at that time you can look everything what they offer and then you can pick your favorite one and always order that. It's so sunny that I'm gonna remove my jacket now. There's no need of it. Lingerie is actually empty. Wow, wow, wow. It's one of my favorite. I want to try this once. <sighs> Let's see what we can have today. Uh, oui, bonjour. Est-ce que vous avez un pain au chocolat? Non. Non? 
Des croissants au chocolat parce qu'ils sont très bizarres. Désolée, je vais prendre un croissant et une baguette. D'accord. Croissant au chocolat Non, non, juste normal. Oui. Croissant, beautiful view. Finish this. The reason why I keep the candies is so that I can shoot a video here because it's a big space but it's really hot and I didn't realize that the time that I chose to come here which is like 1.30 is wrong. There's a lot of variety here for you. Give me chicken wrap for lunch. I left from Candies because I couldn't really sit there anymore. My work was not done. I was kind of disappointed with that. Maybe it's the time, but I tried to wait to see if if the sun is getting better, the place is getting better. But because it's afternoon and it's a Saturday, it's just getting more crowded. I had a quick lunch and I left. Now I'm heading to Art and Charlie, which is like a small art gallery in Bandra. I have been to art galleries, but in Kolaba. And the thing with Bandra is there are many cafes, your newly opened restaurants and all sort of new stuff. But everything is quite tiny. Like the places are small. It's just small. That is a bungalow and in a bungalow they have built an art gallery. So gallery. <laughs> That's a coffee shop, that time. So that is the most central area that is called Place de la Comédie. And I'm still walking, by the way, to leave the museum. But uh, and today there is a lot of people as it's a weekend and there's also some protest going on. Uh, as you know, there's a lot going on in France, so this is the protest. Uh, but uh, yeah, at the same time, people are enjoying life. Not sure how I'm supposed to record in between the protests, but uh, uh, it's intense, so let's get out of here. So cute. Wow, it's like for ballerina. Well, museum we are going to, Moko. The thing I really like about museums and expositions that we have like an outdoor sitting area where we can just sit in the sun and it's so pretty and this exposition was really beautiful it was about paintings and the artist of France right now we are just sitting over here and uh, after that let's see zero euros by the way this was for free so far, I've only spent 2.50 euros. The mm -hmm. French uh, exposition is there's always this kind of car where there's a lot of other exposition and activities mentioned. It's all in the printed format. Like everything. That was it, the end of an exposition. Mm -hmm. Now we are heading for lunch. I'm again hungry. I'm not very hungry, but I'm not like in a mood to eat rice and noodles, the quantity is a lot for one person and my appetite is not that much. So I'm thinking to go McDonald's because we are on a budget. I actually wanted to go to this cafe which I had in my mind for the longest time but uh, I don't think I'll be able to eat there. This is good for 69, the burger and the view. That's the view you get at drop it be happy. I'm heading to a place and according to the maps, I have to go through this little tiny gully way. I don't trust it but that's the way. This is the main road. It's a safe road. I need to have coffee to complete work and I need a quiet place. 
That is what we are looking for currently. I'm getting the iced Americano with milk. I like the place. I remember this place. This was earlier. There was a German restaurant in the end corner of this lane. And we have also made a video on it. So that's exciting. There was actually nothing here at that time. This is a newly opened cafe. And it looks good. I mean, it's good for working. There is outdoor space and indoor. I had water. But this place reminds me of that video that we did. German restaurant. I'll show you. So the last place which is shut was the German restaurant. A very tiny one again. I love this tile. I don't know what it is. It's really pretty. This is iced Americano, but I wanted it with milk, so I got little milk in here. I'm done, I need to go. This place. It's called Capri uh, de Crecier. Yeah, it's all about the crepes. Let's look at the menu. So, this is the menu. And I need to find something in just 5 or 6 euros. So I'll go with this one. Let's see. French restaurant. It's about crepes. Surely. Crep. Uh, onion and for bar. So yummy. Pistachio. I don't know. <laughs> that lunch was so good. And this is uh, in the city center. But by library, I'll be going walking for sure. I've spent 6.50 euros for my lunch and that's the cheapest restaurant I could find and, but it was so yummy and uh, right now the only euros I have left out of 11 is 2 yes I've spent 9 so only 2 more euros left so all my journey is going to be walking which I actually prefer because uh, it's good and maybe in the evening I'll see what can I do of those 2 euros of my day also, I had a little bit baguette in between, so it's always good over here. The one thing that I like that in the morning you just buy a baguette that's just for a euro or 1.30 and you can have it all day so you won't feel hungry in that. Here's your wow, that's my library over there. But just to clarify, this is actually a media tech and not a library. And here you can come and work on your own if you have some work that you can bring. Uh, that is something that you can do. This is me that where I'm going to read uh, some couple of theories that I had to for my French classes. And I'm reading a French book that I've actually borrowed from this library itself. And yes, you can borrow it from a membership. You have a beautiful view. This is one part of the Mediatek, but there's like other part as well. And you can also watch movies, do a lot of things over here. There are also computers all around so if you want to search which book you are looking for or if you want to do some research for your work you can do it over here. This is something that I am researching on the couple of books that I needed for my French assignment and also some novels that I really want to read in French. So it's for free of course but yeah. <laughs> Hey, Daddy.
We have reached the location. Sea view places or the access to the sea from Mumbai. It looks pretty. And this view is a free. taken some books returned some books and also researched some things but now i'm actually very tired it's been a long 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 day i think i'll just go home so i'm basically going to return home now and i managed to only spend nine euros and do couple of things today in this beautiful city so that was it from my side thank you so much for watching this was how i spent my 11 euros which is not exactly 11 i spent 9 and i saved the two for my coffee maybe later on if i take or not i'm home and this is my dad it really depends on what you do in mumbai in a day if you do all the touristy stuff or if you want to go to inexpensive or expensive places and restaurant it's all on you there are many things that you can do in the city what do you think how was the day spent was it worth of spending thousand rupees what do you think about the two different cities let us know in the comments and thank you for watching bye see you comment below if you want uh, such videos more such videos on different cities we'd love to do or want to know more about euros or mumbai or france in general thank you